when I started working in the disability late 80s, the um, rights movement was really strong. And so my exposure to the rights movement probably came through the disability sector. So then, you know, um, when I started using the health sector, I had this, you know, this expectation and this, you know, I have rights. So, and just because, you know, I was what most, you know, put it out to society today and put it out back then, you know, why should the state be paying for this? These bought it on themselves, you know. Um, so whilst that mentality certainly existed, and I had examples during my treatment and the at doctors where I had little games with reception with a receptionist around that, and I thought, what, well, you know, one of us could have made a mistake, but it was almost the presumption was because you're a drug user. Um, you're lying and it's your word against mine. I thought, I like how I'm not having that. You know, I, I totally get what she's saying, but um, don't you play that card on me. You know, either one of us has genuinely got the date wrong or caught, cool, but don't try and assume that I'm bloody lying because of a background. So I took that. That probably fed my advocacy so, um, social justice side, you know, because um, that form of discrimination but also with my knowledge of rights I sort of had this uh, uh, uh you know and this idea nah that doesn't sound right <laughs> so I challenge it